Hey everybody and welcome back. This video is going to be mostly about the Alliance War season, the rewards, opening a few six star crystals, reminiscing a little bit about season 31. But at the end of the day, all I really want to say is how proud I am of SSX1. We got back to back master seasons. We finished around 17th place overall when everything settled, which is a really good spot for this Alliance. Uh, they went six and five total. We had some tricky matchups, definitely some ups and downs this season. BG3 was just absolutely amazing. And really the way I'm gonna structure this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the season first, then we're gonna pop the crystals. And then if you do wanna stick around to the end, I am gonna give some personal shout outs to some of my friends in BG3 and across the Alliance. So yeah, season 31, this was the last time in a while that we're gonna to have to deal with high ground, um, which I'm not gonna be sad to see that go. It's just not a really good tactic. This unstoppable armor thing looks like it's gonna be a blast too, but hey, high ground is just take damage when you play the game, which is never something that I enjoy doing. Um, additionally, this was the first time that we saw the rollout of bands, and I do think bands were good. I think they were a little conservative with the rollout, um, but at the same time, it didn't really handcuff us too much. It was just sort of an additional layer to planning. Basically, Ghost and Torch just didn't exist. Usually, Hercules didn't either for us. There was a little bit of strategy on our end of picking the bands depending on who we were matching which was a little bit of fun and i think for me personally it was a good time because with the bands i was able to take in some characters that i don't normally play namely nebula war machine as well as man thing this season so that was really cool for me to not just be like ghosting with power back boosts for a lot of the fights to actually get to use some of these interesting champions at least for us, this was the first Alliance War season where we had a lot of rank fours available. I believe we had eight rank four attackers that were available to be used in BG3. And very often we were able to send out like six to eight of them. And that really makes a big difference. I mean, a defender as a rank four is fine. Like sure, they have more stats. They take a little bit longer to get down. But having a rank four attacker available it really just makes things simpler for planning when it's like, oh, we have a rank four doom, we have a rank four apocalypse, and you can just sort of send them on their way to take care of some really, really nasty fights. So that was definitely cool. That's definitely going to be a memorable part of the season. And yeah, just overall, I'm glad that Kabam got their act together so that even though there were some bugs, we did have to cancel a war. At one point, it looked like we were going to have to cancel the whole season. They did get their act together so that we were able to finish. It definitely feels better getting master, knowing that we did put in the work. We basically had a full season. Yes, it was 11 wars, but it really did feel like a full season. And uh, that's nice after that long break to get the experience of earning masters in a long season like that. And, you know, certainly any of those alliances that were right on the line, I totally feel for you guys because that, that could have easily been us. Like one attack bonus here or there can determine the whole season. It's why this game mode is so competitive. It's, it reminds me a lot of competitive sports where, you know, on game day, any team can come out and win. And just, I have so many, so much respect for the players of the game that do compete in tier one because it is definitely stressful. It's a grind. It's not perfect, but we all do sort of have a bond for uh, being in this together and working through these tier one wars and, and doing our best. So with that, let's claim these rewards. Uh, yeah, we got a little bit of the rank four materials. Those are not gonna matter for me for a very long time. I'm so far off from a second rank four. Uh, but yeah, here we go. We're gonna hit claim and let's open some featured six stars. We're gonna start with that. Um, I think our, let's see, let's make sure that we get the right crystal here. Yeah, I, I'm thinking, you know, null, Nimrod, very much top targets. Kitty pride dupe, very much a top target. Um, other than that, there's a lot of really good misses in here. But yeah, just the fact that I have Kitty Pride and I have her unawakened as a rank three, it would just be nice to secure that dupe. Um, but, you know, I don't have Black Widow Clairvoyant. I don't have Ghost Rider. I don't have Hyperion. Um, any of them would be quite good too. So with that, we're going to open two of these and then we're going to do the basic nexus. Basic, basic nexus is going to be to see if we can... Um, dupe Hercules so I don't have to use the awakening gem on him that it's probably not gonna happen but we'll see so anyway let's open some crystals 
Uh, so far on this one, I've pulled Cersei and I pulled Kitty once. Those are my two best pulls for sure. And then uh, we did Awaken Emma Frost, which prompted me to bring her to rank three, which was pretty nice. And then the rest of the crystals were just kind of a miss. Like I think I got Dr. Octopus for the first time. I got Squirrel Girl Awaken for the first time. So, you know, not terrible, but anyway, let's see where this thing goes. I just sort of let it tap out by itself. And Dragon Man, okay. He's new. Um, that's not bad. I'll take a new champion. He's certainly good. He can do things. He has some synergies. Uh, I do need to kind of look into him a little bit more though because I have not really researched his kit. But the fact that I run Mystic Dispersion and everything, that's not the worst. But we're going to put in number two. Um, as I'm just rambling here, I almost missed the fact that the crystal uh, was rolling over. Um, and this one I think we're going to tap. But yeah, we really want to see Null. We really want to see Kitty Pride. Even a Cersei dupe would be good. Come on, let's see what we get here. And here we go. Please not Yellow Jackets. And eh, Hit Monkey is also new. So again, I'm not too upset about a new champion, but Dragon Man and Hit Monkey, not exactly what we were looking for. So fortunately, we have enough shards that we should be able to form another one relatively soon. And then next up, we're going to open up this six star Nexus. And yeah, Hercules dupe. That's all I want. Or Kitty Pride dupe. Let's see it in the reel. Here we go. And we got Groot. Oh my god. This is the absolute worst Nexus I've ever seen. How is this even possible? I'm, I've got to take a screenshot of this because this is like meme level. I don't even know what to do here. I mean, I guess Iron Man... Are you serious? This this Nexus Crystal is literally the three worst champions in the entire game. I can't I I cannot believe that for Masters <laughs> War, this is the Nexus. That's not even Iron Man Infinity War. That is classic Iron Man. How do I even I I don't want any of these. I, I can is there a not select a champ option? How do I even pick a champ here? How, what do I do? Cyclops? I mean... I, well, I already have blue Cyclops, so... I guess I'm picking Iron Man, because if they if they ever... Um, if they ever buff Cyclops, I'm sure both of them will get buffed. So, I... Dude... That is just a huge drag. I don't even know what to say, man. Alright, we're taking Iron Man, dude. What the heck? D dude, that... I want a refund on that one, man. I definitely want a refund on that one. I can't even take it. I can't even take that Nexus. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> I almost wanted to dupe Groot, man. Um, but yeah, classic Iron Man, dude. The fact that he was the best choice in that crystal, I think says a lot. I think that says a lot. Well, anyway, I was going to transition to some shout outs and we're still going to do the shout outs. So. First of all, to my four officer friends for BG3, we have a great planning chat. Uh, that would be DLL, Taint, Caesar, and Toffre. You guys are the absolute best. Um, Toffre really stepped up a little bit with the planning uh, aspect of things and helping us with the Excel, uh, Google Sheets and everything. Really appreciate that, man. DLL, just a role model in the game. Uh, definitely wouldn't pick anyone else to be my partner in crime in terms of running a BG. Really smart mind, really kind soul, excellent player. He had a deathless season. Just thanks for everything, man. Uh, Taint really holds it down, just just steady um, and nice guy. I think he only died one time this season. His rank four doom, you know, the responsibility of having a rank four doom is that you have to take some very, very difficult fights. And he definitely did for us with that rank four doom and stepped up every time, so that's absolutely awesome. Uh, Caesar and Tafre, I don't even know how long we've been playing together now, but uh, it's just so fun to have some really close friends nearby. Uh, we have a lot of side conversations, um, a lot of banter, which I really appreciate, and uh, Tafre had a deathless season. Uh, Caesar had a very long deathless streak as well. I think just like me, he died in war number one and then went deathless for the last 10, so that's really cool. 
Uh, Strands really got to flex his new uh, rank for Spider-Man 2099. Really cool, just being able to have that roster and send him in various directions with his with his newer champions is so cool. Uh, he has a new channel as well as Taint. Actually, both of them both uh, have YouTube channels now, so I'm going to link those below. Um, big shout out to JT, to Smyo, to Meta. You guys were just absolute studs for the BG as well. And to Naz, uh, who also has a channel. Naz is going to be taking a break from high tier play. So we're definitely going to miss you, man. Um, thanks for just being a funny guy, kind of quirky, and you know, taking some difficult fights for us, even though your job has been ramping up like crazy. I know that this hasn't been a top priority for you, but you still always showed up and took care of business for us. Just across the alliance, some other guys who you know really made an impact and also have YouTube channels. We've got Rob, our leader, uh, Nerd, who is a new recruit. His MCOC channel is called Hyena. He stepped right up to be a BG officer and to do all the planning for BG2, um, which is just absolutely incredible to come to a new alliance and plan for a BG and help us get to Masters. He has an amazing uh, 100 deathless streak that uh, ended up happening this season. Uh, Slaymon was back. He's got a great channel as well. Um, he also stepped up to be an officer when we needed him, which just shows his commitment to SSX and to us. I mean, it's it's very clear that this guy is is as loyal as they come and a very talented player. So Slaymon, thanks so much, man. Uh, to Jay Will, who's been a great supporter of my channel as well as he's been growing his channel. I'm going to link that below. Definitely check it out. So the Rank 4 Kang <laughs> gameplay. Did I just say Rank 4? The Rank 3 Kang gameplay from Jay Will uh, is really cool to see. Um, and then just two of my other friends who were able to join. They're in different BGs, but that would be Plant Based and Banger. Uh, just we've been playing for a long time and I was so happy that you guys could join the fold as well as Cromwell who is in BG1 um, Definitely part of our old crew the three of you guys uh, really fun to have you in SSX as well and uh, Yeah, just so many other friends and, and familiar faces in this group that helped us get to masters So anyway aside from that nexus completely taking the wind out of me This has been a great day and I'm so grateful to be part of SSX one and I look forward to more videos in the future for Alliance War and other things. So expect a couple guides over the next two weeks. And uh, thanks for coming along on this journey with me. And I will catch you guys in the next one.